This January, we welcome new students to Prince Alfred College for our sesquicentenary year. Undoubtedly, the highlight of 2019 was the college's celebration of our 150th birthday. There were a wide range of events that brought the community together. These included a staff picnic on the back oval, a gala dinner for the college community, and the interment of the sesquicentenary time capsule. Among many other events marking the occasion of our 150th year. Work was also completed on our new boarding house facility. As college captain and proud boarder, I was honoured to be involved in this event. The official opening was held on June 22nd, 150 years to the day of the opening of the main college. The unveiling of the plaque marking the event was conducted by the Honourable Mr Stephen Marshall, MP, Premier of South Australia and local member for Dunstan. The class of 2018 achieved excellent SACE and IB results, with 63 merits awarded across 31 subjects and 28% of our cohort joining the Over 95 Club. Our Ducks of School Shine Wang achieved a perfect ATAR of 99.95. Our pastoral care programs continue to strengthen across our tutor groups. 2019 saw the launch of PAC Pastoral Care Infographic, depicting the four Prince's Valleys of gratitude, courage, integrity and wisdom. Our pastoral program was organised into four themes, our community and connections, health, safety and risk, learning performance and character and manhood. These developments saw tutors favour more activities and experience driven by the new curriculum. The Wombana program has continued its success with all groups experiencing an adjusted transition in and transition out experience to support them. Similarly, our Educart, Educook, Scotts Creek and New Adelaide Week programs continue to provide important opportunities for boys to bond and develop as young men. On top of these achievements, this year has been marked by a greater level of engagement between the prefect body and members of the school community. This year's production of Bugs In Alone was an incredible success, directed by Miss Paula Little with students from Seymour and Wilderness. The boys continue to set a high standard for dramatic performances at the college. The continued development of performing arts at the college was evident in the inclusion of the inaugural Prince's Film Fest in our arts calendar. The program included a showcase of students' work alongside competition entries and is sure to grow in their stature over the coming years. Our band's program enjoyed unprecedented success at the Generations in Jazz Festival in Mount Gambier. The list of achievements was extensive. The boys won the Division I title, including six Division I Superband caps and one Division II Superband cap, as well as the best rhythm section in big bands. Individual honours went to Jack Wu, who won the James Morrison's Golden Mouthpiece Lead Trumpet Award, and Miss Gregory, who was awarded with the Best Band Director Award. This success was followed up with further wins in the Aboda Festival, with gold awards at junior, intermediate and senior band levels. In February, students gathered at the North Adelaide Aquatic Centre to compete in the annual swimming carnival. It was a successful day for all boys, with Fergus McLaughlin winning the Champions of Champions race. Taylor was crowned proud champions in the overall result. This year's summer intercol saw our teams take out the honours in cricket and tennis, with all boys performing well all round. In September, the front oval came alive with colour for the Athletics Carnival. Boys completed in a range of traditional and novelty athletic events, with Tom Malik winning the Champions of Champions race. At the end of the day, Cotton took overall honours. A new format for the winter intercol season saw PAC host all of the first fixtures. Our teams took out the honours in football, chess, rugby, basketball and hockey. Congratulations to the staff who put together the events for the community.
2020 is already shaping up to be a fantastic year, with numerous initiatives being planned by the student leadership team to further build on PAC's success and culture. With the recommencement of the Wesley Cup, myself and the House Captains are eager to raise the overall prominence and importance of House events and culture throughout 2020. Following the announcement of the SRC leaders, Mr Delora and myself are excited to continue the crucial role of SRCs being the bridge between students and teachers. On behalf of the college community, I wish you a happy and safe holiday season and we look forward to seeing you back in 2020.